Sanchez again. I mean, they, um, Maddie said you guys have been working on boxing out with her. And I was watching her box out today. And uh, I mean, she what was did you see? Because I didn't see. But <laughs> She's got you a little stronger. Yeah, I mean, what do you have to say about her development so early? Well, I mean, Gisela has a chance. I, I, don't, I think the first game she was just a little bit nervous. Um, she has a chance to be really good. She's active. I don't think we boxed out great today, and I don't think our defense was good. But the, the positive thing for me was really good offensively, sharing the ball, making the extra pass, finding the hot hand. I think those things, giving the ball inside to the post, I think those things were really, really well. I think, um, how many assists do we have? If we had 29 assists on 45 field goals, that's not great. But I thought we did a really good job shooting the three almost 50%. Like, this is like polar opposite than what I'm used to. <laughs> we used to be like half of that. Um, but uh, you just, we have a lot of work. We have a lot of work defensively, um, having a, a lot of fouls, um, a lot of fouls like at the very end of a shot clock with one second left to three second left, three seconds left. Those are just fouls and mental mistakes we can't make. Um, but we have a lot of good young talent. Um, I think that we have a chance to be good. But we have a lot of work. So when you first saw Gisela when you were recruiting her, what initially stood out to you? That she's a 6'4", versatile player. So I knew she has a chance to be really good. For us, getting two of the best Europeans, you know, Gisela, Anna Gret. Anna Gret hasn't played her best, but she's adjusting. She's going to be good. Um, Gisela, her size, her length, her um, um, the spark she brings. Like, she brings a lot of, like, defensive tenacity and, and grit, and I like that. Um, she was pressing when we weren't pressing. She can shoot the three. She can pass the ball. Every ball, every pass Gisela is like the... No look. <laughs> she could be inbounding the outlet pass, and she goes, no look. It's really cute. It's funny, but we all kind of mess with her. But she's going to be good. Um, she can play the two, three, four. Um, can't really play the five because of her strength, but um, she's, she runs like a gazelle. And, you know, has to get stronger, but I think she's going to be a really good player. Do you guys like her? Yeah, I think she can be really good. Um, and this was a good game for her. I, think, I thought her and Maddie did a really good job. And they're both freshmen. So we have some good young talent. Yeah. Right. Um, defensively, you mentioned that the communication wasn't out there tonight, but um, Lauren Ware, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Lauren Ware seemed to really communicate out there on the court. Where have you seen her growth in terms of leadership? Yeah, uh, Lauren, she's great. She's evolving. She should be a, a future leader here. Um, our two captains are um, Sam and Kate, but you have to have other leaders. Her, her, um, I'd say Lauren, Maddie, Ben is another great leader. I think that those players are leading different ways, and you always have to have a leader from the front, which is usually the visible leaders, and you have to have leaders from the back. And I think Lauren's one of those players that is learning. Um, she's always one of the best communicators. I think that's the volleyball in her. Like, <laughs> all the, you know, volleyball, you talk and you cheer after everything. But she's a very good communicator. I think she's a really good player. It wasn't her best game today. Um, we're still continuing to work with shooting on balance and those things, but if you see her shot has improved to be almost 6'5", shooting the way she does, it's really good. It's improved. Um, and she's continuing to get better. So Lauren consistently brings us communication, and she's just evolving. Um, you know, we're working on getting stronger, but she'll get there. And to follow up on that, how much has Team USA helped her in that development? It's helped her a lot. I think communication even better. Um, I think confidence has helped her. Um, just think she's never focused so much on basketball. So she's never had like a full year of basketball till this year. So usually she has volleyball and she's training for that and then it's different training for basketball. So you're going to see a huge jump in Lauren's game in this next six months because she can work on it and get repetition and, and learn. Um, she's learning so many new things that she just hasn't learned because it's usually so split. So um, I think USA Basketball helped her just you know, confidence, she won a gold, got to play with the, the best of the best, and then just realizing how good she is, and then it gave her incentive to work on her shot and do those things. So I think um, it's just helped her overall. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the future of the program with a lot of like highly touted recruits? Yeah, um, so the future of the program is very bright. Um, if you look at our team right now, we have a lot of depth, and we have a lot of good young talent. So then next year we're bringing, we're signing a couple kids in a few days. Um, we're adding three good players. We're adding some big talent, like a, a really good post player, one of the best in the country. I think she's rated number two or three in the country in her position. And then we have a, a guard who I think is underrated. And she's a top 30 kid, but she's, in my opinion, a lot better than that. Because I don't really follow, the, I don't care about the rankings. But she is um, powerful. 
Um, she's athletic, she can play defense, she can score, so she's going to be a very good guard. She'll play the one and the two for us. And then we have a really good athletic three player that um, this player can play the two or the three and she's long, so she can play that Sam type role and she'll be able to defend like that after a couple years and she's a slasher, really fast in transition. So those are three players that I love. We might add one more, um, don't know yet, but we have our eyes on a couple people. Um, but if not, it, for us, it doesn't matter. We're going to be returning a few people that are key players for us. We're not talking about it yet um, just because it hasn't officially happened. But to have our core, so these freshmen become sophomores, then we add three more, and then we return like probably two or three super seniors. Um, I think we have a chance to be good for a few years. So the future is bright for Arizona. So after um, a game like tonight, uh, Tuesday's your home opener. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go back, what types of things are you going to be working on for Tuesday? <laughs> Guarding the ball, closing out, boxing out, um, time and score situations for sure. The stuff we've been working on, it's getting better. Um, it's just awareness, like not overhelping and when to help, how, just our positioning off the ball, those things. But those are that's repetition stuff. I mean, if players like Nettie, Araya, they've never played this style. Koi has never played this style. Um, Anna Gretz never, so we're, we inserted like seven people that have never played our type of defense. And you know, we're a very good defensive team. So right now we're not there yet. And I'm, sometimes I'm really critical and I look, I have to like put in perspective and I'm gonna go back and look to see where we were last year at this time, but I remember not being good defensively at this time. But the bad thing is we weren't good defensively or offensively. Now at least we're a lot better offensively and the defense will come, but we're a couple months away. Um, unfortunately, we have some good teams along <laughs> during those two months. Normally, we don't have the great teams till the Pac-12, so we have, to, we have to learn a little bit faster. But, you know, we have to work on it, and that's what we do. I think we do a really good job of teaching and working on this thing. So hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, you'll see an improved team, but it's not going to happen. We're not just going to become a great defensive team in two weeks, but you should see us getting better at something every time we play. I hope so. So the so in the defense it improved from the first game. Mm -hmm. Where did you see the improvement? Um, I saw the improvement in spurts, like with certain groups. Just um, so th that group of Gisellas that came in, I think halfway through the second quarter, they came in with a spark. Then they gave a, cu a couple threes, but they came in with like an intensity. I don't feel the first half we were intense or intentional. Like, our, our defense is supposed to break the timing of the offense, and I don't think we were doing that. I think we were just kind of waiting and, like, um, getting lazy, and that's not what we do. So I think improved in certain lineups. Um, but I think habits like reaching and stuff like that, we don't do that. And I think last year, Ari could do that because she's, like, one of the fastest guards in America. So she could reach, get out of position, and then still get there. But, like, <laughs> we don't have an Ari right now, so you got to reach and you get out of position. So I think that... Being disciplined in those, those things are hard. And it takes time and it takes a, a certain mentality. And we just don't have that yet, but we will. I mean, cause we're gonna practice that till we get it. And that's what we do. And I think that, you know, we have a lot, a lot of good players. So in order to play, you have to do those things. So you'll see that. I mean, and like the reality is like, we have a lot of really good players. So the hard thing for us coaches is figuring out who you know, who that lineup can be, who that rotation can be, who works good together, what groups can defend, what groups can score better, all those things. So th that's um, challenging because we just have a lot of good players. So that's why we're doing like the five, the blockbuster subs, but that's not what we'll do consistently. You mentioned uh, last time that as the season move along, moves along, the bench is going to shrink, you're going to tighten it up yeah. just naturally, you know, mm -hmm. but how much of of a boost is it for a coach to have a bench that can score 35 plus points in a, any given game? Yeah, it's it's really promising. I think that it enables you to go deeper into your bench um, and just be able to play different ways. So we can play really big. And you, you saw like I'm playing Helena a little bit at the one. I'm moving things like that and she did a really good job. So um, it, it's just good to have different possibilities. I think that's, that always helps. I think that's what good teams have. If you look at Stanford, they can play different ways and they can score in a lot of different ways. So, um, and they're one of the best teams in the country. So we need that. Um, some lineups can be more press-based. Some lineups can be more, um, you know, shooting if someone puts a zone against us, those things. So I like being able to, but I think most coaches, um, 
if you press a lot, you can probably go 10 or 11. But most coaches probably have a consistent eight foot ro eight player rotation. But I also have never had so many good players. So I, I don't know. I have to see because it could go deeper. But just because of our style. In the past, you had problems when you had foul trouble. Yeah. I mean, what do you foresee in that regard? Now, do you have enough depth that that's not going to be a problem? Yeah, because if, let's say, um, like if Kate got in foul trouble, we have Gisela, or Lauren gets in foul trouble, we have Araya, and Nettie can play. So we have a lot of players that can play. I don't feel like anybody on our team can't play. So I think that's the good thing. I, I, that's never been the case since I've been coaching. Um, but, you know, it's also hard because, like, as a coach, you want to play everybody equal. Like, you want everybody to be happy. So I think that's hard because I do care about that stuff. So, you know, like, right now I felt like it's the time to do that. It's the time to get people minutes, confidence. But um, I, I don't really have to worry about fouls. Like, today I let Nettie play with four fouls just because she needs to learn. But we won't, we won't have that problem because we can play differently. And how do you keep them ready to, to step in later on? Mm -hmm. That's the challenge. So I think it's preparation, like outside of game days. So, you know, practices, making sure if someone isn't getting, like our philosophy here is if someone's not getting the minutes, like I don't just put them on the treadmill. So for me, like those days that might be lighter for people that played a, a lot of minutes, then we take everybody else and we have practice and work them out. So like our job is to still improve the other players and still get repetition versus go on the treadmill and do 20 minutes of running. So our job is to develop, and so I, I personally, I really take pride in developing like Maddie, take pride in developing Lauren, developing, um, you know, um, even Coy more. Just like we do that, and so you should see our players. I mean, Kate's improved a lot in the last couple of years, so we want to get our players better. So I think we just we're intentional about that. We're one of the few teams in the country that do skill work every day, all year round. So for all of our players, and that's a lot for the coaches because the coaches are in the gym sometimes like six hours on <laughs> typical days because you got to split everybody up one or two people at a time. So it's a lot, but that's what we do. More questions for Coach Barnes? Okay, thanks, Thank you guys. Everybody. Have a good night. Yeah. Bye. Maddie, you had the hot hand tonight. What was going on, and, and how did that that feel when that started happening? Oh, it felt really good. My team was just finding me in the right spots, and that's my job to knock down open shots. So I mean, they were finding me and hitting the shot. I mean, that's what I'm supposed to do. So I did it. Sure. Lauren, when you look at the shooters you have around you, how dangerous can this team be? Yeah, um, I think that's what really makes us a different team this year. I think last year we lacked that shooting. Um, Capabilities, so that's going to really help me and Kate and Araya and everyone else, all the posts inside, because we can spread the floor. Like they're not going to be able to sag in the paint. Like we have shooters that can spread the floor, so it's going to be really good for us this year. All right, more questions for our student athletes, Kim. Um, I'm going to ask you guys about um, Zuzella, how she was shooting and how she boxes out. I saw how aggressive she is. You know, even uh, just uh, what do you see in her? Um, she came in like she's ready to play. So, I mean, she comes like that every day in practice. Actually, we had to work on her boxing out, so she was really focused on boxing out. So, it was good to see that this game, and um, we know what ca she's capable of. So, just her coming out there it just gives her confidence when she does that in the game situation because she does it every day in practice. Like, she'll do these little crazy moves, and you're like, what? And like, that's her. So, it was good to see her do that tonight. Lauren, I know you spent the off season with Team USA and that training. How much did that help you in terms of communication on the court? Because it seemed like you were a lot more vocal there tonight. Yeah, um, it helped me a lot. I think just playing with those good girls and like um, good coaches and playing against really good teams, like you're kind of forced to communicate. Like they're not going to allow you not to. It's just kind of the environment that you were in. So I think that made me more confident in my leadership skills and just being more vocal on the floor. Yes, yeah, you know, you guys are known for your defense. Tonight it seemed like it even picked it up a notch. The, you know, I saw from different people that, like, Coy was sort of watching how somebody was dribbling and then picking up the dribble and stealing the ball. Um, a lot of tips, all that kind of stuff. You got, you, all you guys were involved. A lot of hands, a lot of... It seems like you took it up a notch from the first exhibition game. What did you guys do? What, what do you see out there? Um, I still don't think this was our best defensive game. We have a lot of work to do on defense. We all know that. So I think 
Um, we'll have little spurts where we'll be really um, intense on defense, which is like what we're supposed to do. That's our identity here at Arizona. But um, we still need to be able to put a full game together like what we used to do last year, a good defensive um, game. So we're just going to keep working on that and just working together. And, and that'll come. We're all really new. So I think that chemistry will come as we keep playing. You so mentioned this was the last exhibition, your first official game is on Tuesday. How are you guys going to mentally prep each other and yourselves for that game? Um, I feel like even though these aren't real like season games, we still treat them as they are. So it doesn't seem like, oh, these games don't matter, like it's just a scrimmage or whatever. But I think we just go about it the same way. I mean, obviously, we have to be more intent. And this, these games do matter coming up. It's real season. So I feel like we don't really take it any differently. Like, we take every game like it's the last. But I mean, definitely, we have to be ready and come out to play next week. Uh, you mentioned defensively you felt like you guys could have improved tonight. But on the offensive end, I know you had a great night shooting. But where do you feel like you can improve heading into the season? Um, just finishing better. Like, we missed a lot of layups tonight. Um, but I think this year, like with specials, we're really good at sharing the ball. Like that's something you really can't teach. It's just kind of a chemistry thing. And I think we have really built that already, just sharing the ball really well and stuff like that. And we have the people that can make the shots. So um, we're still going to work offensively and defensively. But I think we're on the right track. Um, not being ranked 22, do you feel you should have been ranked higher? Does that give you guys motivation if you thought so? or? Um, personally, I don't think like preseason rankings or anything like that matters. I mean, you see last season we weren't ranked high and we went to the national championship. So, I mean, I don't think any of us or like the coaches or anybody really thinks about that preseason ranking or even during season, like we know what we're capable of. So it's honestly just a number, but I mean, yeah, we think we should have been ranked higher, but like we don't really, that's not in our mind when we're playing or doing anything. One more question for the student athletes, PJ, last one. So Maddie. You know, I know you played with the team last year and you went to the national championship and now you've played in these two exhibition games this year, but this is going to be your first home opener on Tuesday. What does that feel like for you? Oh, I'm just really excited. I mean, same thing with Lauren. Like, she hasn't really had a home opener with fans or played in McHale with fans. So, I mean, these are our first two games with fans. But I'm I'm really excited and this team's really good, so it's really fun to play with each other. So. I'm just excited we're going to go out there and get a win. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.